welcome back. All right, so tonight I want to talk about a couple more items in that uh, Gordon, the Harbor Freight Gordon survival kit. So first I want to address this flashlight. Now this flashlight, this is the same flashlight that comes in any of those survival kits, whether it's the Stealth Angel, whether it's your Walmart one, it doesn't really matter. They all come with this same, this exact same flashlight. The, you know, you've got the high, the medium, and it's going to stroke here in a minute. So just a little flashing light warning here, and you have your stroke. So, you know, and it's one click for each. Same thing with all these flashlights. You got your, your retention clip there. You have, you know, where you can zoom it out and you get you get that that's that the oops right here the, the square high beam so um so this is the same flashlight that comes all of them but what i would like to address is the fact that unlike a lot of them harbor freight actually took the time and the effort to put a battery in the kit and now granted it is one of their batteries. It is a Thunderbolt. However, it is a Thunderbolt Magnum, which I think is a little bit better than the standard Thunderbolt. Um, now, so that being said, it's just that, as I've said in so many of these videos, like when you buy those emergency backpacks or you buy, you know, these emergency kits and you think, oh, I'm good. I've got a flashlight. Oh, I'm great. But they don't come with batteries. And so that's one thing that I think that sets the Harbor Freight, um, this Harbor Freight survival kit, apart from a lot of your others, because most of them don't come with flash with with the batteries for the flashlight. And so that makes this an actual working survival item that is actually useful in the kit. So uh, I got I got to give it I got to give the Harbor Freight uh, Gordon survival kit I got to give them a thumbs up for having a battery included in it. Most of them don't do that. So, so that, that's the first thing I want to talk about. And so that right there, that really, you know, that, that's a good item to have in there is an actual battery to go with it. And they didn't just stuff it in there. They actually had a, um, a protector in there so that it wouldn't corrode either. So, all right. So now next, what I want to address is <laughs> this gimmicky water bottle whatever. Right, you know, and all of them that come with this, it's just like, ugh, why? Why? But then I started thinking about it, and if you're in a survival situation, and you, you know, let's say, let's say that you keep this in your truck and you break down, well, you not, you might not have a canteen. You know, you might not have a Camelback or, or a source to carry water. Well, you know, you may, you may have a water bottle. You know, you may have, you know, be able to find a water bottle and water source, you know, so that you can replenish it. You know, so I was like, well, you know, it's not really a bad item. It's just, it's, nobody's going to run out and buy this. The only way you're going to get this is if you buy one of these kits. Nobody's going to run out and buy one of these, these water retention bottle holders, whatever they call them. So that's, that's just the fact. So I said, well, you know what? I guess in a survival situation, if you need to have, let's say that you... You need to go hunt or forage or check your traps or fish and you know you need your hands for other stuff but you have a water bottle you don't have a canteen you don't have anywhere to store this well okay so i guess this water clip thing is actually a useful item so i said okay so i went and i got a water bottle i put it around there i said all right good to go what is this what is this? It's like if you're you're gonna lose your water. It it, it it doesn't clip on the water bottle. This is your standard water bottle. So I said, okay, okay. Now that's not usually I, I don't normally drink this water anyway, but I do like the water by my by my man Chuck here, right? The Sea Force water. Now granted this is just water from the tap because I just I just like the bottle. Because, you know, it's got the picture of Chuck Norris on it. Walker, Texas Ranger. You know, you got Chuck Norris. So. Yeah. Sea Force water. So I said, well, I'll try this. Because this is a bottle that I've kept that I decided to hang on to. 
So, same thing, took the clip around, and, I, and, and it actually, it stays on this water bottle. So, the, and of course the difference in these water bottles is this one has this little lip underneath it, whereas this one is just the cap. Because if this is just the cap, actually this, this cap is larger anyway, see? But a lot of times you may not, so that means that you're going to have to actually have a water bottle that's going to go on this, or the bottle you find might not actually work. So, I still, I, I, I mean, I still think that this is a useful item. It's not one that I would purchase by itself. Um, but the fact that it did come in, in the kit, you know, I guess, hey, that works. But, you know, it is what it is. So, that's something that I think is useful. Again, it's not sea force water, it's just regular tap water. But, there you go. So that's, that's two more out of the 12 items that came in the kit. Again, the knife. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention about the knife. That knife, for such a low budget knife, is remarkably well centered. It is very well centered in 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 the, in the housing. So, um, and, I mean, I, I've bought much more. I've bought more expensive knives, Gerber, um, uh, you know, uh, Sog, and the blades were not as well. I mean, they were good, but they were not as well centered as that Gordon knife. And it and it actually does a pretty decent job um, with you know, doing camp tasks. Uh, so, so, so far, um, out of the 12 items, I, I think that the three that we've looked at so far, they're actually pretty decent items. Um, so, I mean, I don't know if it's, you know, $30 value so much as far as MSRP. You can probably get this stuff cheaper individually. But I think that when you, when you consider that it's all in one place, um, so far, of the three items that I've actually that I've actually taken the time to look at and use, they're pretty good. Um, I, I can't say anything bad about the flashlight. I mean, it's it's the same flashlight you get in all of them, but it has a it has a pretty decent battery. It has a pretty strong, you know, even though it is it's not a Duracell or an Energizer battery, but it is a, a better quality battery than than a, a lot of than no battery. And in, it's not a battery that you use it for a few minutes and it's going to die on you either. Because I've been using this flashlight quite a bit. So there's that. And then this water clip, this water bottle clip. If you have the right water bottle, I can see where this will be useful if you're in a, in a situation where you need to carry your water with you, but you might not have, you might not be taking your whole pack with you. Or let's say that you, you have to walk a long distance and you don't have, you know, something, to, you know, you can, you know, something to put this in. You can just, you know, put the belt clip through there. Just put your belt through there and then you can, you can at least carry the water on your side. Um, so, gimmicky, yes. Something I would buy normally, no. But does it do the trick? Absolutely. And so I think that so far, and I'm not sponsored by Gordon or Harbor Freight or anything like that, but um, I think that so far, I think that um, of the three items that we've taken a little chance to look at and, and see how they function, all three of them are better than a lot of those survival kits that I've, that I've looked at. So, um... I'm going to wait until we test the other nine items, but so far, so good for that Gordon's Harbor Freight Survival Kit. Um, oh yeah, if this is your first time on the channel, please consider subscribing. You know, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, um, you know, like the video, hit that bell so you get notified whenever I put up a video. Um, I got a couple videos coming up tomorrow. I got another video already coming up on Thursday. So I have some videos already ready to come, come your way, but you hit that bell button and you're going to know exactly when they drop. So, I uh, really appreciate it. Um, keep prepping and stay prepared.